Guys, what's going on? Welcome to Serial at Midnight. My name is Heath, and in this episode, we are talking about new arrivals from Umbrella Entertainment out of Australia. Full disclosure, this is take eight or nine. I keep slipping into an Australian accent, uh, which is, you know, we're well, going to go ahead and do it right now here at the top. We're going to talk about a lot of movies here. There's some fantastic releases here from Umbrella Entertainment out of Australia. we got Stunt Rock. Is it a documentary? Is it a concert film? Oh, I could go either way. And the Chandler and the old Pacific Sea. Uh, I know, I know, Australians don't love it, but it's just so much fun. Um, okay, moving on. I have good news. We have these four releases from Umbrella Entertainment, and the great news right here at the top is they are all ABC region free. They play everywhere worldwide, and that's good news because there's some stuff here that is uh, a must-buy for a lot of you guys specifically this edition of stunt rock which i have left sealed because i wanted to i wanted to unwrap it while you watch uh see the hype sticker on that so there's like a comic inside i thought that'd be really fun for us to kind of open here on camera uh undead from the makers of daybreakers uh was this 2001 i think yeah uh it has a uh, it's got a soundtrack anyway i thought we could unbox those together but Here's where I'm having problems uh, talking about The Beast. Now, I've seen two of these movies, two of them I haven't seen. These are not my reviews. Full reviews will show up at Serial at Midnight.com, where I can really get into, you know, the, these, this is not reviews. Uh, this is, hey, look, hey, hi, hey, look, hey, Brian, hey, Brian, here they are. Uh, where's my money, man? What in the world? Go to serialatmidnight.com if you've liked and subscribed. If you've what smashed, smash, smash the like button and rang that bell, you'll know when I post new reviews because I've started letting everyone on YouTube know, hey, there's a new review at serialatmidnight.com. So the beast is really, really hard to talk about. One of the reasons I keep having to start over, I can't really talk about the beast on YouTube because it is a film with many, many adult themes, erotica, beasts with humans. Um, not real, right? It's a movie. It's not real, but just want to make that clear. Um, it's a metaphor. See, I haven't seen the movie yet because this just came. This, these have been here for like 10 minutes. Well, before I hit record on, on take one, but what can I say? So it's a French movie with English subtitles here and it is a, it's a 1975 film that is a metaphor for the, the drive, our human drive, right? Um, and the aggression and the, you know, it, here, I'm just going to read the quotes from here. Peter Bradshaw of The Guardian says, it's ridiculous, it's tacky, it's pretentious, but it's touched with something comically sublime. David Wood of BBC says, a distinctly surreal, unsettling viewing experience and certainly unlike anything else to currently be found in cinemas. Uh, I'm going to hold this up and if you choose, if, hopefully that has focused. I know sometimes, see, I don't have my glasses on. See, I, I'll put my glasses on. For, I, got, I got the green ones out, guys, the, the, the jade these jade colored glasses that Brie bought for me. I think you guys can read that. Um, so I'm not gonna read that to you, but I will continue to explore this with you. Here's the front. Uh, I don't know that I can, I, I'll, I'll, okay. There's a little bit of what I can show you on the, the, the hey, calling it the rear cover. That is appropriate. It is the rear cover. Um, I think I can even show you this. Look at those quotes, man. Uh, an erotic fable in the manner of modern Boccaccio or Balzac by one of the masters of filmmaking, one of the masters of filmmaker, one of the master filmmakers of the world. A hardcore beauty, says Archer Winch, uh, Winston of the New York Post. The most genuinely erotic film you'll ever see, says Rob Baker of the Soho News. Now, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm going to check it out. And when, when Umbrella announced this, I was so curious about it. And I was like, how, how, how is this, how does this exist? So this comes from their Beyond Genres uh, uh, line. And um, it's got a lot of special features on it too. The Making of the Beast, introduction by film critic Peter Bradshaw, who's the guy that said it was tacky and it was pretentious and all that stuff, but that he, it's comically sublime. The Frenzy of Ecstasy feature at Interview with the Director uh, and then a biography of the director. So... A full review of this will show up at serialatmidnight.com and we will talk about it in more depth without any YouTube algorithm hovering over us with their finger on the delete button uh, because it is, you know, 
No, no, you can't say. Did I just touch the microphone? I think I did. Let's talk about sirens. Uh, Sam Neil and a ho- Sam Neil, Hugh Grant, and a host of beautiful women: uh, Tara Fitzgerald, Elle McPherson, Kate Fisher, and Portia de Rossi. Um, this is a very fun movie. It's about a preacher who uh, moves to this town. He's a preacher. Or is he a priest? He's a clergyman. Also, so okay. Yeah, he's like a priest. Um, no, because he's got a wife with him, right? So. This is not the place for me to work this out. Um, there, Sam Neill is an artist, and he's got a painting he's displaying or a portrait that he's displaying, and people are like, oh, again, clutching the pearls, like, no, offensive. Uh, and uh, Hugh Grant is like, you know, I'm sorry, what, what, beg, beg your pardon, but what, what's with the painting? It's, 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 oh, it's very, very cheeky. Uh, and finds that it's like his wife is getting into it, and it's very, you know, very, very sexy and, and all this stuff. And I, again, that's probably about as much as I can say here on YouTube without this video being kicked up to the 18 and up crowd, which I don't want to do. Lose my, lose my monetization, all that jazz. No, thank you. Um, this does have some reversible artwork here, which is actually, you know, let me. Oh, it's like static, static, <laughs> staticky locked in there. Um, so there's also a lot of really good special features. I saw this in the 90s on uh, VHS and I don't, or I think my expectations at the time were like, I, I seem to remember coming to this movie wanting a very specific thing, and I don't remember if it delivered it or not. Producer Sue Milliken in conversation with Paul Harris. Uh, that's one of the special features. Audio commentary with director John Duygen. Oh, I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, and producer Sue Milliken. Informal home movie chat between Hugh Grant and director uh, John Duygen. ABC Lively Arts interview. Why am I doing this? I'm just going to hold this up and you can read it for yourself. Um, let's talk about Undead. Again, These are this is not the reviews. I don't want anyone to watch this and be like, well, he just held them up and talked about them. Reviews will show up at SerialAtMidnight.com. I put the work in, man. I want you guys to know what I think about these movies. Uh, and I, I want to be able to get into them in a way that we can't get into them here. So, again, keep those, keep those peepers peeled, ladies and gentlemen to serial at midnight.com and our letterboxed don't forget our letterboxed uh so this is undead this is from the uh the spirit brothers the spider brothers the, the people behind daybreakers we all know daybreakers right horror movie predestination which i'm not sure that i've seen prepare yourself for a gore-drenched horror comedy debut for the directors of daybreakers and predestination an onslaught of meteorites crash lands in the small country town of berkeley the bombardment i'm reading the back of it to you again it's like a zombie horror comedy movie with a ton of splatter in it how is it uh, richard klein a rich klein shadows on the wall says absolutely unhinged in a way only australian filmmakers can ever get right something we like to talk about here when we're discussing australian movies and umbrella and imports and stuff like this is that uh, there is something very uniquely Australian about that cinema. Mad Max would not be the same if Mad Max was made in the jungle or, you know, what. like there is something very innately Australian that comes through in Australian cinema. That is, that's why we watch world cinema, right? And for me, this is world cinema. Uh, Michael Adams of Empire Magazine says, dementedly funny and audacious debut for the Sparrow Brothers. Special features include an audio commentary with directors Peter and Michael Spirig and cinematographer Andy Strayhorn on the set of The Undead, Attack of the Undead, a short film. The making of Undead, you know what, again, I'm reading it to you, so I'm just going to hold this up. I'm going to let you bask in it. And then I have not seen, hold that up too, I have not seen what lies beneath this uh, Beyond Genres slipcover. So hopefully all is, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I can show that. And I can show that there. Let me tell you, there's things in the beast that I can't show. So I'll, I'll, I'll take this. All right. So we have our Blu-ray. That's our first disc there. And then there's going to be our, our soundtrack here. It's upside down. Let me work on that. There's our soundtrack. Uh, what's, uh, what is the inside of this flap? Flappy dappy. Shake your flap and dab. What the world? Okay. There's the inner, the inner artwork there with the the track listing for the CD soundtrack. Uh, so I've never seen this. I I, I didn't want to. I don't want to represent myself like I have. I've never seen this. I'll be checking this out for the first time. But I am excited about it, and I'm really excited. You know, Umbrella is putting together for these like 
sub labels, these lines, these ranges within their branding. So beyond genres, the sunburnt screens, the the exploitation classics, they are really packing the special features in there and raising the prestige for some of this stuff. So uh, I love that. I love to see these physical media editions getting like stuffed to the gills. Stunt Rock is an insane but wonderful uh, fever dream of a movie. It is like part documentary. It's pseudo doc. Like I think part of it's real documentary, part of it's fake documentary, and it's about a, it's an Australian stuntman. Brian Trenchard Smith directed this, um, and so it's got like a highlight. You know, like it, it intercuts. This is a stuntman. It's Grant Page, and I just like I feel like he's an Australian stuntmaker, right? I think that's right. And he's, uh, I just like remember a stunt where he, like he, there's this, this woman in a hotel room, like way up on the high rise or whatever. And it's been a while since I've seen this. You saw me, I just unwrapped it. So it's been years since I've seen this. But like the woman is like, ring, ring. She answers the phone. She's like, hello. And he's like, well, hey, how's it going over there? You, you look out, look out your window. And she like opens the window and like he's on a line, like he's straddling, <laughs> like, like, is it a power line or like the telephone wire? And he's like, he's got like a phone and he's like, Hundred like a hundred feet off, or two hundred feet off the ground, maybe more. It's just like, well, how are you looking good today, or something like that. And it's like it's crazy, but it's so much fun, and it's got a band in it. So Sorcerer is it? Sorcerer is the name of the band. Sorcery, uh, the cult heavy metal outfit. Sorcery. It is the, so. It's like part like Alice Cooper style rock show kiss alice cooper like big theatrics like a performance art band where they're just like wizards and stuff but it's like rah, like pro like pro progressive heavy metal whatever mixed with all these stunts stunt rock i mean it's literally brian Trenchard smith it's just like it's stunts and it's rock let's call it stunt rock <laughs> it makes me so happy um Part pseudo documentary, part rock film, and all kinds of crazy, says Mondo Digital. Music as you've never heard it. Magic as you've never seen it. Danger as you've never imagined. Uh, it's amazing. So I'm going to hold this up. You can check it out. Again, full review will be coming. This is like super high on my priority list to, to check this out, um, to, to review this Blu-ray. Because I've, I've only seen it in standard definition. So I'm really excited to see what the, the, um, the restoration work here looks like. So there's the uh, both sides of the art. You know, the front and the back covers. What is the uh, the interior artwork? Oh man, this is so freaking cool! Oh, look at this! Look at this! This one's amazing. I want that like as my my phone wallpaper when I when I <laughs> when I go into my phone. That's what I want to see. That is amazing. Uh, ain't no one alive that drives like drives like him. Crash drive fifty five. So cool. Okay, so this has special features uh, as well. It's got the comic book in here. It's loaded with stuff. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I haven't even seen all this. You've seen it before I have because you just I held it up for you. All new, The Ultimate Rush, a conversation with Brian and Margaret Trenchard Smith. Extended interviews from Not Quite Hollywood. By the way, this is from the Ausploitation Classics line. Here is the complete Ausploitation's Blu-ray line. There's DVDs as well. This is the Blu-ray line where they're really just like stuffing them to the gills with stuff. Um, oh, man. The interviews with, uh, from Not Quite Hollywood, the extended interviews from Not Quite Hollywood were Brian Trenchard Smith and actor stuntman Grant Page. Um, 2008 audio commentary with the director and Grant Page and Margaret Trenchard Smith. 2009 audio commentary uh, with Brian Trenchard Smith, Marty Fink, and actor, actor Richard Blackburn. 2009 intro to the film. 2009 interviews. Huff's. Uh, so, well, Brian Trenchard Smith, Smokey Huff's, Marty Fink. 2009 audio interview with sorcery drummer Perry Morris. Brian Trenchard Smith's Alamo Draft House appearances, the cons promo reel, HD theatrical trailer, all new Brian Trenchard Smith trailer reel. <gasps> oh my gosh, trailers from hell with commentary by Brian Trenchard Smith. What? This is like the Christmas present I didn't even know that I wanted until just now. Look at this. Look at this. So this is our comic book. Like is it it is actually it is actually a comic book. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Sorcery! It's a, this, you guys gotta see this movie. You've got to see. So you gotta see the movie. Okay. Got, okay, that's. I gotta, I'm gonna go watch Stunt Rock right now. Uh, the, these four releases are now available. Shipping now from Umbrella Entertainment. Um, thanks so much to Umbrella for sending these over for me to let you know about and uh, to review. Again, reviews popping up at serialatmidnight.com. 
Um, mm, what in the world? Uh, which ones? Is, let's talk about them. Talk about them in the comments below. First of all, I want to know, have you seen Stunt Rock? And if you haven't, I want to know, when do you plan to, to rectify that? And then uh, maybe we should like Undead. Let's talk about that. The be Who has seen The Beast? And I don't even know that we can talk about it in the comments. We're going to have to just use like stars and like asterisks and stuff to get around. Like it's about star exclamation point at symbol. <laughs> I don't know. Like YouTube is like, no, no, no. Guys, that's going to do it for this coverage from Umbrella Entertainment. Thank you so much for hanging out. I've had a lot of fun with this one. I hope you have too. Take care. Until next time, here's where to go and what to do.